Hey guys, it's Heidi with Lily Field Furniture. I'm here today to show you a quick tutorial on how to take your basic builder grade vanities in your bathroom and turn them into something that looks custom um, and expensive. So to do that, uh, you'll need some sandpaper, uh, depending on the wood that you're working with, uh, medium to fine grip. You'll need your paint choice um, of color and a brush. For the tutorial that I'm doing, I'm also going to be using um, Country Chic's metallic accent cream, a mason jar with a little bit of water in it, another brush, and a um, old white t-shirt, and then your sealer of choice to finish. So I am using the Country Chic Natural Wax. Okay, so you guys can see here that um, my cabinets are actually an oak cabinet, and because of that they have a lot of grain in them. I did not want the grain to show through in my finished product. So what I've done is just to use drywall joint compound that you can get in any hardware store and mixed it up to a about a pancake batter consistency and then you just rub it into the cabinet kind of in a circular motion until it's um, kind of worked into all the grooves and then once it dries you sand it down. Mine took about 10 minutes before I could sand it so it's pretty quick. So now if you are not going to be doing this step if you do not have an oak cabinet then just make sure that you do sand it um, first before you start painting. Normally you wouldn't need to do that with country sheet paint just because it's a chalk paint, but since this is a bathroom cabinet, it's probably going to have hairspray and other sticky surfaces on it. So it will adhere probably a little bit better if you do sand it first. Okay, so once you've done all of your prep work, we are all ready to get painting. Now I have chosen to use Country Chic's Color and Sunday Tea. It's one of their new limited edition release colors for spring, and it's a really pretty gray, beige-ish, just a really natural color. So that is the color that I'm going to be using. I've already shaken it up and just go ahead and start painting. Normally I use purdy brushes. I've been a big fan of them for a long time. But after using Country Chic's brushes, there's just really no comparison. It does an amazing job with really just not leaving brush strokes behind. So if that's the look that you're going for, I definitely recommend getting one of their brushes. Okay. Once you've kind of worked it all into the grooves, you want to try to go in the same direction. Okay, so for the sake of time, I've already painted a cabinet to show you. This is what it will look like after two coats of the Country Sheet Paint. Now, you could just leave it here if you wanted to just leave this finish. You could seal it and just be done with it. Um, you could distress it to add a little bit more detail and seal it after that. For me, in this particular vanity that I'm working on, I want to add a little bit more dimension and I want to deepen the color a little bit. So what I'm going to be using is Country Chic's Metallic Accent Cream. They have four different colors that they've just released in their Metallic Accent Cream. I'm using Belt, belt Buckle, which is just a really pretty coppery, kind of a pewter finish. So um, it's a little bit thick and I want to have a little bit more control over that. So what I have done, is just taken a mason jar and added just a tiny, you can see, just a very tiny little bit of water to it. Put a little bit of the cream into it and then you just want to shake it up. Now I've tried mixing it on my own and it can get a little bit grainy. So I have found just the best way to do this is to go ahead and mix it in a mason jar and just mix it really well. Your rag, your old t-shirt, and just dip your brush into that and just start brushing. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're just trying to get, get it on here. You can see it's already deepening the color, kind of settling into the grooves. Right now I'm just trying to get it into there. Now at this point, you can also take your metallic cream and just do a little bit more of a solid accent cream to add a little bit more. Okay, then you just want to take your t-shirt, just kind of wipe off the excess. Okay, so once we have um, used the metallic glaze, it's time to seal the piece. Now for um, this vanity, I've chosen to wax the um, vanity. It'll be a little bit of a smoother finish, a less glossy finish. And so I'm using Country Chic's Natural Wax. 
and their wax brush. I've already actually done it to this piece, but just so you can see, you just rub the brush and then just wipe it right onto the piece. Could not be easier. And then you just take your t-shirt and wipe off the excess. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so we are finished. Hopefully I've shown you guys how easy it is to transform your cabinets, um, your bathroom vanities. I've shown you how to prep your piece and how to paint it. I've shown you how to glaze and then we've sealed it. And um, if you guys have any questions on any of the products that I used or the techniques, um, feel free to ask me questions uh, down below on this YouTube video and I'll make sure that I answer them for you. Thanks so much for watching guys.